Roger, what an amazing achievement. I mean, I get emotional and I'm not number one. You're the unbelievable legend. You never cease to amaze us. It's just incredible. We are so proud that you're here in Rotterdam. The stage for one of the most historic moments in tennis. Thank you so much. Unbelievable. You won 20 Grand Slam titles. <laughs> 20 Grand Slam titles, 76 ATP titles on top of that. More than 300 weeks at number one. And this coming Monday, you'll be the oldest number one in the history of the ATP Tour. <laughs> For us, there's no better way to celebrate our 45th anniversary. Thank you, Roger, for being here in Rotterdam. Thank you for being the great guy that you are. He really is an unbelievable guy. But I don't think I'm letting out any secrets here. And thank you for being this amazing ambassador for the sport we all love, the sport of tennis. Thanks so much. And you know they say records are there to be broken, so feel free to break another record, the one and only record that we share. Two titles in Rotterdam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm proud of that record, and he's probably going to shatter it on, on Sunday. As we present you with a gift on behalf of the tournament and sports fans around the world, please, I want to ask you to stand a standing ovation for the great Roger Federer! Thank you very, very much for this uh, ceremony, uh, for the trophy, for being here, Richard. Uh, so nice to see former players being tournament directors. Uh, naturally, you have a, a great connection to, to those tournament directors who have been on the tour and knows how it feels to win and lose tennis matches. And uh, um, I'd like to start off by thanking the tournament for inviting me, uh, you know, last minute. Uh, I guess it pays off giving me a wild card back in 1999 for a wild card, and um, you know, to some extent, you stay forever grateful as a as a junior when you felt support early on in your career when you actually needed it. I did need this one too. Uh, my life would have been okay both ways with not the wild card in '99 and also this year. But uh, what an amazing run it's been and the journey it's been for me throughout. Um, so to, to clinch world number one again now this following Monday here in Rotterdam really means a lot to me. So thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> also, I'd like to, also, I'd like to give thanks to Robin for putting in a, great, a brave fight. He's not been well all week. <laughs> Iro ironically, he has to go through another ceremony with another Swiss guy sort of six months later, six months ago in Basel. Um, he retired my good friend Marco. Now, and he stood on court while he did uh, the round of honors to, to say goodbye to everybody. Now you have to watch this, so I'm sorry you get to all, do all these things. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think um, reaching number one is, uh, is one of, if not the ultimate achievement in our sport. So um, sometimes in the beginning, you just all of a sudden get there just because you're playing so well. Um, later, you sometimes try to fight it back and uh, you wrestle it back from somebody else who deserved to be there. And when you're older, you know, you feel like you have to put maybe sometimes double the work in. So this one maybe means the most to me throughout my career, getting to number one and enjoying it right here at 36, almost 37 years old is, is an absolute dream come true. I can't believe it. Yeah, and it's also an uh, opportunity to thank all my, my great team um, that 
put in all the hard work with me. I have to work harder these days and more than ever. So without them, it wouldn't be possible. Some are here, some are at home, some are around the world somewhere. Of course, without my family, it wouldn't work as well. So I'd like to thank my wife, my kids, my children, everybody.